Hey guys, welcome to week one of the CF Racing Stroke Correction Program. And this is our sample video of Clayton Fattel. And I'm just going to run you through the, uh, the technique um, aspects that we're looking at um, when I go through your personal videos. So Clayton's going to really show us the efficient technique um, and why he's able to, to swim so well. Um, so today we're, we're really looking at, at body position and posture and alignment, okay? Really crucial to have a you know reasonable body position and alignment before we start to look at um, other aspects of the stroke. All right, so let's get stuck in. All right, now I like to play this through in full motion just to begin with, and then I'll slow it down a little bit, and we'll uh, discuss some of the sort of key take-home points. Um, straight away, you can see how flat Clayton is in the water. So very good body position, really minimizing drag. Okay, so great feet position, great head position, um, great entry, great breath. Okay, he really does look, um, you know, very smooth in the water. Um, and, you know, he's you know, a, a very quick swimmer, both in the pool, but also the open water. All right, the second one here um, is the alignment. Okay, very good example of swimming very straight. Okay, being efficient on both sides. All right, so let's actually um, go back now, and I'm going to put this in slow motion, exactly like I'll do in your videos, and we'll just discuss exactly the take-home points of the session. All right, so let's look at Clayton's posture and his body position. Very important um, in the pool. So we're looking for the three H's, head, hips, and heels. All right, so if we just pause you know, anywhere sort of along here, all right, we're just looking for head position, okay? I want you to be looking forwards around one to two meters, somewhere around there, okay? The crown of your head should just be on top of the water, all right? I want to see your hips close to the surface and your, your heels and feet breaking the surface every few kicks. So we get a nice straight uh, line here, and if we look at this frontal, I guess, surface area um, that's taking on the water, it's quite small. Okay, quite small. We really don't want to see, you know, the legs dropping because then that surface area becomes quite large. Okay, so just to talk through here, head position, looking slightly forwards. Um, just be careful you don't bury your head under the water, but we definitely don't want to be looking straight towards the end of the pool either. Um, having a look at Clayton's feet position, okay, you'll see how his toes are nicely pointed, okay, and... When you do kick, you don't want to see the knees bending down, creating extra drag. All right. So we want to try and initiate the kick from the hips and the glutes, okay, and not get you know too much bend of the knees um, down past the body here. All right. Now you know you can see here Clayton's quite proud when he swims, so he's dispersing good weight um, through his chest, okay, which helps keep the legs up nice and high, and. We just want to have a look at Clayton's breathing technique because it really is very impressive. All right, so let's have a look at the breath. Where he goes for one here. All right. Now, we do just miss that there. We'll go back and we'll have a look at this next one. All right, so one goggle in the water, one goggle out of the water. We don't want to see the breathing technique disturbing body position. All right, so you can see this position here. You know, everything's staying nice and high. One goggle in, one goggle out. Okay, very, very efficient. All right. The other thing we're going to look at for the purpose of body position is his entry and the depth. All right. So we can see here as Clayton extends under the water, okay, how the depth of his sort of his arm and his hands. So fingertips slightly lower than wrist. Okay. Wrist slightly lower than elbow. Elbow slightly lower than shoulder. So there's that very slight, you know, downward shape. Um, in the extension. We don't want to see the arm staying up high or the elbow collapsing. All right, so we can see here the entry with the fingertips first, okay, allows all the bubbles to come off the hands. All right, and then you can see this position here where he's going to start his catch. Nice and straight, okay, and, you know, just a little bit of depth as well. We don't want to see you keeping your hands up really high. All right, now let's have a look now on top of the water, main things here, low head position, fingertips first, 
All right, so have a look at this breath. It's really good. All right, here we go. All right, very low head position. Fingertips are in the water first. We're making a few bubbles with our feet. Okay, very, very smooth swimming. All right, having a look at the alignment. Okay, and Clayton is very, very well aligned. So I want you guys to imagine you're swimming on two train tracks. Okay, and those train tracks come out in front of the shoulders. All right, so we really want to drive ourselves forwards. Okay, and enter on those train tracks. So you can see here, Clayton enters really just, you know, wonderfully out in front of the, the ears and the shoulders, extends, okay, in that great long position, all right, and we'll just have a look at the even, uh, sorry, the, the symmetry of his rotation, all right, so we can see here, good rotation, hips, bit of rotation, feet stay behind the body, all right, let's have a look at the breath. All right, you can see with the breath how he's nice and stable. He's got one arm out in front, okay, the feet are staying behind the body, nice and stable position, okay, looking straight towards the side of the pool. We're not seeing anything spilling from side to side, and we definitely don't want to see the legs fanning out to the side either. That generally means that we are over-rotating, all right. Finishing the stroke off beautifully next to the thigh, Okay, you'll note Clayton probably does get a bit more rotation on this side. Most swimmers will, okay. We just want to make sure that we're keeping stable, all right. We're not swiveling from side to side. Um, and we're swimming basically on those rails and we're swimming straight, okay. We do not want to see you fishtailing from side to side, all right. So, guys, that's week one, um, body position and alignment, okay. Hope you've enjoyed it. Cheers. Bye for now.